Listen to these phrases from the New Testament. Count it all joy when you meet trials. When others revile you and persecute you, and be glad. There's joy in trial, joy in grief, joy in affliction. We call it serious joy. Serious joy sets you free. When your citizenship is in heaven, and all your inheritance is in heaven, and all your joy is coming from Christ in heaven, you're a free person on planet Earth. If your joy comes from the world, with its benefits, its comforts, its praises, you're like a leaf in the wind. Yours is not a serious joy. It's a secondhand joy. You're not free. You're jerked around by the newscast every day, by a phone call, by a, a, a critical email, by a word from a friend. You just, your emotions are jerked every which way because you're just a leaf in the wind. All your joy attached to that person, that person, their approval, their, that money, that house, that comfort, that car, those jewels, that inheritance, that wife, that three-month-old child. Your joy is all bound right here, and, and anything that happens here, you're done for. You're not a free person at all. That's just not the way Christianity is. Serious joy sets people free. And we feel warranted to make it that sweeping because of two passages where Paul described his apostolic goal in life, where Paul says, sorrowful yet always rejoicing. But we are workers with you for your joy. Okay, Paul, describe to me what your calling is. What do you do? As you go from city to city and you raise up churches and you nurture them and you appoint elders and you move on, you wanna go to Spain, what are you doing? I'm working with people for their joy. I'm rescuing people from hell into everlasting joy. I'm building up this church to make their joy survive anything. That's what he does. That's his calling. Is that your calling? It's my calling. That's all I've lived for for 50 years. So missionaries do that and you do that. You do it in your home. Putting so much substance underneath joy 